The escape pod time, I think. Oh, geez, there's water flooding in. That's a lot of water. Turn off the engine. Oh, man, these waves are getting bad. Okay, so we are in a submarine. I believe it is time we can go underwater. We may be a bit shallow. We're going to try it out here. So I think we do up and down to go down. So I'm going to be holding W here. I'm going to hope for the best. I do see the bow actually diving right now. I think we have to fill the ballast first. Yeah. All right, we are now filling the ballast, y'all. We need to go underwater right now because there's a giant storm on our radar on this thing. It is getting pretty bad out here. Let's see. Um, let's do uh, some sonar there we go we got sonar on uh, let's check ballast oh wow it already has eleven thousand liters of water this is a really fast ballast system all right i'm desperately trying to get this thing underwater you can see the nose trying to point down uh any second now we should actually go under because the ballast is definitely getting filled i mean it's already about halfway done or a quarter way but you can see the red line going really fast we can definitely notice this thing going deeper underwater uh we're gonna do our set depth here um let's see what should our target depth be we're gonna go 50 i think that may or may not be past the bottom of the ocean sure we'll find out out real fast so depth hold is going to be turned on right now there we go and let's see if this actually works do i have to do a minus in front of it you think yep it is indeed a minus so we are finally going underwater looks like the ballast has enough water in it we're totally under oh hold on a second we're really angling down i'm gonna switch i'm actually getting a little bit scared right now we're gonna do 30 I feel like 50 might just be too low hold on we actually wait never mind we just leveled out at 50 i think we should be good then yeah i mean this isn't bad okay so this is a brand new submarine i've been told to uh kind of test its functions we got to make sure we don't have any issues um let's just kind of look at some things in here i think this thing oh that's great uh looks like we have an escape pod in this thing i love submarines that have escape pods we're gonna turn on this random camera right here i believe i think that that's that thing right there uh, let's take a look around make sure we're not flooding with water already i'm sure that'd be something that could already be happening with me on board so we're gonna be turning on some just random monitors here there we go um it's really dark outside so this is a front view of what's in front of us but um we can't see anything we must be like too deep or something uh hold on a second i see water flooding in from some Somewhere. bathroom do you guys see that i swear i see water flooding in from the ceiling i don't know it only sh like pops up when i pause the recording so i don't know uh we can definitely hear sonar going off it is working good i believe that's a ballast tank so that should be filled with water it's looking good in here we got to make sure everything's all up to code we got some scuba gear just in case we got to evac out of this thing which um i'm sure we'll do hold on i've actually just gotten an alert saying a tsunami is incoming well i'm actually thankful we're in a submarine today because i'm i believe that'll be pretty unnoticeable to us so Oh, wow. Look at that. We have an above view of the waves. Maybe we can see it go over us. Okay, let's go to test this function right here. We're going to try starting the diesel engine underwater. Oh, wow. Hold on. I think it actually started. I don't know how that started. That's probably... That can't be good on the engine because I'm pretty sure that needs air. What does this mean? Depth. Hold on. Yeah, so it needs air. I don't know how the diesel generator is running or whatever, but that's actually quite impressive. There must be an air tank in here or something. Uh, water. We got a water tank. Maybe an oxygen tank somewhere. I don't know. I don't see anything that say that. But before we started the video today i was told by the company that we're testing this for uh this thing does have some electrical surges so the power really sparks and it might like turn off some monitors here but i'm trying to find the tsunami it, it looks like it hasn't actually gone over us yet but you know what i think from the weight of the tsunami it might just crush this thing we're gonna try going below it here we're gonna go to negative let's try 100 you know what actually we're just gonna go 200 here wait what the heck i just saw under the map there for a second um hopefully we don't hit the bottom no guarantees we might just be diving too low here you know what? that actually really suck because um if we're about to crash the entire captain area right here is gonna get crushed inwards and this is pure glass oh oh there it is oh that is not good i believe we've hit the bottom here oh yeah uh the escape pod time i think oh geez there's water flooding and that's a lot of water turn off the engine right now turn it off let's see um forward throttle to zero we are flooding insanely fast we were not supposed to go that deep hold on uh bilge pumps yes that's what we need we're gonna be testing this thing's bilge pumps you know i think we've actually totaled this thing out but um that's besides the point for today we are flooding right now there's water water in this thing let's see where's the bilge pumps there's got to be some type of bilge pump in here uh let's see ac turn on climate control there we go that'll solve all of our problems y'all climate control is now on rest assured so that's reassuring oh we're really filling in this thing okay i think it is escape pod time is this the escape pod right here oh wait hold on there's an upstairs i don't know that uh ooh, hold on upstairs might just be our best bet for now there isn't water up here because it's upstairs oh we just hit the bottom again and i think that will do it yep there's just so much water um i don't think it's escape pod time though i mean we could still rescue this thing uh i'm gonna try getting upstairs here let's go no clip yeah we're at the straight bottom y'all this isn't good okay we're in the uh, upper area now this really isn't good can i get some lights on in here does it still work oh yes lights still work so this thing's electrical is pretty strong uh we got some bunk lights here hold on hold on hold on oxygen mask yes that's what we need uh definitely it's filling up down there i'm actually seeing whatever that is go totally underwater we got to make a decision here fast whether we should use the escape pod or not because this is really 
isn't good if we go in third person here. Oh, wow. Look at the front section. We've actually just flipped over. Hold on. I dare not stand up right now because we are totally on our side. You know what? I kind of want to stand up. Oh, there's water up here. There's water on the second floor. You know what? I think it's escape pod time. Let's try getting to the escape pod. We got to get out of this thing. There's too much water for me. Oh, it is filled to the brim over here. Yep. Escape pod time. I still need to find the bilge pumps button though. It's got to be over here, right? Well, even if we found it, we couldn't actually end up clicking it because bilge pumps aren't going to work because the button's actually broken. Uh, that blue thing probably means bilge pumps. Well, anyways, we're going to try just getting out of here in the escape pod. So let's uh, hop in this escape pod right here. We got to be careful. The hatch is halfway underwater for the escape pod. So we might let a little bit of water in. So we need to hurry up. Okay. Get in the escape pod. Close the door. Close it. There we go. We got the door closed and we are in the escape pod. All right. This thing isn't too bad. We're in escape pod. Okay. Uh, we have enough room for one more passenger. Is the water flooding? Uh, shouldn't be. This thing's watertight, right? Here, let's get a third person view. Oh no. Okay. We're at the bottom of the ocean. I'm curious if the escape pod's going to be able to get to the top. Oh, this is probably going to be a very scary test. I believe we're filling in here though. So we got to really hurry up with this. You know what y'all? I have some really bad news. We forgot our pen in the room here. We got to get out of the escape pod. We forgot it. Okay. We're in, um, hold on. This is the ballast tank. Preferably don't go in there. Where's the room at that we were supposed to be in? It's this top area right here. Perfect. Oh no. Oh, uh, this is bad. Where's my pen y'all? We forgot about my pen. Okay. We got flares right here. That's uh really good. Hold on. Let's dive down here. We need to find flares. We got to get out of this thing here. Uh, a radio. Oh yes. We'll grab one of those. Okay. We're just grabbing equipment right now. Um, let's grab a welder too. Let's try going up to control the control area and let's try repairing like the emergency SOS stuff. Cause I totally forgot. We got some SOS equipment. Uh, I don't think it can actually transmit underwater though. Wait a second. This isn't an underwater welder. Oh crap. That's really not good. Well, you know what? Hold on. I still need to find my pen, but we need to get an underwater welder to repair this thing. Come on. I need bilge pumps on. I think, hold on. I need to use my oxygen. I'm actually drowning right now. Uh, pure oxygen. There we go. We got it back on. Thankfully, the lights are still running. It looks like uh, the water might have some electrical current in it. So we got to be a little bit careful on which room we go in here. What does this say? Water entrance level. Okay. That's at zero. There's there's not a single bilge pump button in this thing. Um, Wait, hold on a second. There's a blow ballast thing I remember seeing in the front. Okay, right here. All right, right here. We got a underwater welder. We're going to be going to the front here and we're going to try welding this thing uh, back up to the surface. So we're going to be trying to save this thing. Doubt it. Okay, we're going to try though. All right, so we're in the ballast compartment. I think there's a ballast button somewhere like right here towards the top section. So we need to blow the ballast that should set all the water and it should shoot it all outside of the ship here or the submarine, whatever the heck we're in, to be honest. All right, we're going to be here because I don't believe we need any more water in there. And then we're going to be immediately activating the blow ballast. Oop, don't activate the fill. Ballast is being blown. Let's see. Oh, it's really working. Hold on. We might actually resurface here. That's a lot of water actually getting pumped out. Uh, we might just have to use that as the bilge pump. Uh, can I get some uh, bilge pump button somewhere? Come on. It just needs to pop up. I know it's somewhere. Well, I'm going to hop in a seat real quick. I need to get an exterior view. Make sure we're floating to the surface because I'm sure we are, right? We're probably like halfway up. Well, we're still at the bottom. Surprise, surprise. We are moving still. Hold on. I need to zoom out. Is the engine still running? You got to be kidding me. I don't think it is because normally the white jet like uh, water jets on. I don't think it is. I believe this is my signal to evacuate because I don't think we're actually rising. I need to get a status level on the, the uh, ballast level. So let's see here. Level. It's only at. Oh, wow. Hold on. I feel like it's really slowing down. It's only at 61,000. Uh, it was going down way faster earlier. You know what? Uh, yeah, probably escape pod time. Unfortunately, you know, the escape pod isn't such a bad idea, though, because I mean, it is here for a reason, probably just for me, because this is the first ever test on this thing. OK, you guys ready to click this button? You know, this is funny. I can't actually click the uh, launch button while in the seat. And then when I get out of the seat, it glitches me all over. So we got to be really careful here. I'm going to try no clipping back in this thing and we're going to launch this escape pod once and for all. Where did I just go? All right. I think I'm in a good position for this launching the escape pod. Now we've launched it. Let's try getting in a seat and uh, oh, I've seen a puff of smoke. The hatch did not open. That is probably not good. Let's try it again. I'm sure there's a backup, right? Launch escape pod. Here we go. This is it, y'all. This is it. We're going to be at the surface. This hatch, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be open right now. Okay. Well, this is probably not too good. You know what, the, guys? This is why I don't mess with escape pods because now we're literally stuck in this thing. It doesn't even work, even though it says no step on the top, even though it doesn't even open in an emergency. Okay, I need to hurry up. Player damage is on. Hold on. We need to find a scuba suit. Which one? Uh, diving equipment or scuba gear? Let's see. Okay, we got scuba on. So we have scuba gear on. We need to swim to the surface and get out of this thing. Hopefully, a hatch does end up opening here. Okay, we got one right here. Um, Let's see. Uh, Is this the exit? Maybe right here is an exit. Oh, geez, y'all. I forgot how we entered this thing. I think I just no clipped in. So this isn't good. Come on. We got to get outside of the sinking submarine. Uh, Let's see. This yellow thing right here looks like it could possibly be an exit. It has a red door open. Yes, here we go. Oh, wait, this is an airlock room. That's good. Open this door. Perfect. This is what we need. Uh, Can I swim through? 
We're going to jump, swim through. Okay, it's filling with water. Let's let it fill before we try swimming out because uh, the pressure is just insane right now. It's like a car flooding with water. You can't exit the window when the water's flooding and just way too hard. The current. Okay, here we go. We're going to the surface. Let's see if we can survive. And while I'm swimming up right now, here's a shout out to the three most recent subscribers. Drop a comment and subscribe to enter next videos. And here I am desperately trying to resurface. It is daytime and I'm sure there's search or rescue up here that immediately when I look upwards, right? Oh crap, we're out here alone. I'm probably going to die.